Hello, everyone. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller back with another service management leadership video. This one's really short, but I think very important for your organization. We have discussed asset management metrics. We've discussed them for a long time. And I have a few more as we think about this. And these are ones I've used. And so I've consulted what other people, we've talked about those. This one right here is specifically for hardware asset management. I also want you to think of it through a CMDB uh, lens as well. So how many assets do you have in each stage of your asset life cycle? Same thing could be for a configuration item. Here's why. If you have a disproportionate amount that are coming on board or even about to be retired, you need to understand. You need to understand this life cycle, but seeing how many are in each and trending that over time is a great way for you to understand the life cycle. Life cycle is meaningless without understanding what's in each. So I might even take those, break them down by asset class, because don't you want to look at laptops different than network devices? I would. And so think of it through that lens. Asset life cycle, how many of each are in each state, status, state, depending on your tool. Same for CMDB. Don't you care how many of them are retired of your CIs that are still being found? How about uh, how many of them are offline? That's the one that used to give me so much pain when I'd get a call from my business user saying, hey, I went to look for XYZ server Wait, XYZ app and it's offline. Yeah, uh oh, we got a problem. And so running these metrics sometimes helps you get in front of the problem. And that's what we want to do. This is Jeffrey T. Fertiller. Thank you once again for watching. If service management leadership can assist your organization, let me know. Our teams would love to help you. Hope you have a great, great day. Bye.